welcome back to another painting in 20 minutes or less. Uh, today I am going to be doing a desert with some with a cactus or a cacti and probably some flowers. So I live in western Washington where it's very much so tall trees and foresty and the ocean. So I do see desert. I just, I don't know, the forest is more of an everyday whereas the desert is kind of like, you know, Oh, we're going to Eastern Washington. Let's go look at the desert. So this should be interesting and fun. I'm excited. I did go out to the Painted Hills in Oregon last spring, so we'll see if that helps. All right, Kyle, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I am ready. I have 20 minutes or less. Ready. Get set. Uh, get set. <clears throat> and what do I got left? Go. All right. Let me think here. What do I want to do? I think I want to use a little bit of this brilliant blue, a little white. My brush is still very wet, so I'm going to give it a quick. All right. Here we go. Yep. My brush is too wet. Okay. I kind of gave it a quick dunk right before we got started. And that is very apparent. But you know what? Maybe it will make the sky more interesting. Okay. So, I'm going to try and use some of this brilliant blue mixed in with some white. I'm just going to kind of bring it in. You know what? Nope, we're going to paper towel it. Woo! Just kind of give it a nice smear. And just kind of let the paint stain the canvas is more of what's happening. Because this is not the focal point. You know? If I'm going to paint clouds, I want to invest the time into painting clouds. And making them special. But it's a desert, so I don't think it's necessary to paint, paint clouds. Give this a little darker. All right, so let's see here. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm going to have, you know what? Let's put a glob of white right there. That is now going to be our light source. It's not going to stay a glob of white. We're just going to let it. Kind of do that. Yeah, finger painting. All right, what color? Let's do a little, you know what? Let's let it dry before we get in there with some yellow because that could make our sky green. Okay, thinking. Gonna go into some magenta here. Now, once again, these are the art supplies that they warn you not to get because these are the most affordable of all art supplies, which means you're, you feel like you're getting your bang for your buck, but you're not. You're, you're getting shifty pigment, pigments and shifty. Mm. But I also was thinking about this. This is really the paint that I started with. So it's, you know, I would say if you're just looking to paint and have fun and do something you love and experiment and explore, do it up, you know, and when you're ready and you want to get serious and really learn and don't, not really learn. You're going to learn using this stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to talk and paint at the same time, so I'm rambling. Yeah, we're going to add a little yellow on our hill back here. These paints are great. I love them. That's all I wanted to say. So we're just kind of letting the brush make some texture. Here's the warmest part where our sun is coming through, so it's going to be a little bit like boom. And like I said, I don't spend too much time out in the desert, so it should be interesting. And I can't remember if I said that this suggestion was made to me by Katie. Um, we went to school together. She's very awesome lady. I believe she is living out in the desert now, I think. So we're just going to get into this. I think, yeah, let's go up a little higher, though. Let's. Get something. I don't know. 
Mesa action happening. What do you say, Kyle? Sounds good. Mesa action. A little bit of yellow blended in. So what kind of paints do you use for the painting behind you? Uh, I use the Liquitex um, heavy body. They are acrylic, but I like acrylic. It's I've thought about switching over to some of those water-based oils that I keep hearing about, and I just have not done so yet. Um, but yeah, I use acrylic heavy body. I stick with Liquitex. I just really like, I really like their paints. Okay, we're gonna kind of let this just blend off into the distance. We're gonna take in some purple, I think. I'm making this up as I go along, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, and we're just kind of experimenting here. What's gonna happen? Um, we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna add a little more red to the mix and bring it in closer. Boop, 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 boop. Just gonna blend it in to right about there. So now we've got our desert. Let's uh, mix some blue with some purple because we're just getting further from the sun. Hey, we've driven through the desert in like the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. You know what I remember the most about that desert was all the billboards as we went into Las Vegas. Woo! Long time ago. Long car ride. <laughs> How long were we sitting in that car for? At least over 18 hours. Yeah. You know, the one time that he wanted me to drive was in the middle of a blizzard in the middle of the night. We were still just dating then. And so that's when he learned I have terrible night vision. And when the snow is coming directly at me on a mountain pass and it's pitch black except for white snowflakes, I do not succeed. <laughs> I drove about 10 miles per hour and an hour went by and he got so annoyed. <laughs> he was like, we have barely made any ground. And I'm like... I've offered to drive during the day <laughs> multiple times. I feel like I'm distracting you. You have just over 13 minutes. You are distracting me. All right, so we're kind of bringing it in. So we've got this great backdrop. I don't know if I'm going to focus any more on the sun right now just because, yeah, there's texture. All right, so we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to bring it in. Hmm. We're just gonna bring it in. Desert. It looks kind of like a snowdrift. And that's not gonna work now. Ooh, that's kind of a nice color. But you know what? If you have yourself a color wheel, you can see that orange is across from blue. So if you mix those two colors together, things will happen. What things, you might say? Neutral colors. <laughs> so let's put some purple down at the bottom just to kind of close it out. All right, so let's darken it up a little bit over here, but not too much. And let's get into, let's make this purple a little brighter. All right, what are you doing? I don't know, having fun? Smearing pigment, painting the canvas. Yeah. Alrighty. So we need a brush that we can get scruffy with. I mean, this brush has been used and abused, but we're getting scruffy with it. So we got our sunlight coming through. I'm about to add a little red. Hey, they're gorgeous. A little blue. We're just going to be doing some back and forth, bringing it at home. Where are we bringing it? We're bringing it home. All right, so we're going to glop on the white just because, yeah. I feel like I forgot to project right there. All right. Mm. So yeah. Anyway, Vegas.
Vegas is definitely a fun city to go visit. And I would like to actually drive through that area during the daytime sometime to kind of actually experience the desert out there. But maybe when our kids are a little older. All right, so we're going to make this over here kind of purpley. And we're going to go into a little phthalo blue mixed with white. As always, a little phthalo blue goes a really long way. And we are at, almost at the halfway point. All right. Kids are crazy. You don't need to worry about it. They're just being kids. So far, it just sounds like they're having fun, honey. He's just going to go check. So here we go. Let's get a little more of our yellowish craziness going on. Oops, a little green in there on accident. All righty. So let's see, I looked at some pictures of some cactus, cacti. And so we'll see what we can do here. All right, let's see. So, sunlight coming through this way. Uh, I keep trying to make it better. I'm just going to make it worse. All right. Let's see here. Let's get this going. Let's do... Okay. Now if we have time to add some kick butt highlights to this, we will. But I can't promise anything. So let's just keep it going. Alrighty. How are them kids? You know, busy. I lied. I added a little bit of a highlight there. We'll add a little bit of a highlight here. We're just going to, you know what? We're going to get artsy. That's what we do, right? We're artists. We get artsy. Okay. Adding another. You know, I just realized. I don't think I really know. I mean, I know a cactus if I see one. But do I really know what one looks like? Kind of an odd thing to realize. I think you can claim artistic license. Yeah, but it still has to kind of resemble what you're doing, right? That's okay. It's fun. It's fun. All right, seven minutes. So we're just gonna, because the thing is, is if you make one decent cactus and you put it in the foreground. Then you can make smaller ones in the background that people will kind of understand to be cacti. Cactuses, cacti, cactopotamuses. Because they see your other one and they're like, ah, yeah, yeah, that's what we got going on. And if this does not actually look like a cactus, well, sorry. I'm trying my best. Uh. All right. All righty, bringing it down. All right. Bringing it down. It's funky town. All right, I don't really know what would be at the base of a cactus. That sounds weird to say. Tumbleweed? I think you're thinking of something else. I mean, like, what does a cactus root, like, going into the ground look like? Sand? Oh my gosh. Your solutions are not helpful. <laughs> no, 
looks pretty cool though. Actually, I'm not well, yeah. There we go. Let's just scrape some of this paint away and give it some texture. Liking it. Liking it. <clears throat> Sometimes you just have to wait till your paint's at that right consistency. And on here it's dry, so it's squirt. Mm -hmm. It looks like they get a little bit browner when they go to the browner. Okay. Don't know if five minutes is enough time to get really perfectionisty about it. <laughs> I think we just have to get more artistic. Ooh, cactus. All right. So I saw that poppies were pretty common out there, and like there's lots of these pink and purple flowers. So. If you can get the right texture going on, woo, kids are nuts, but that, he's happy, just, our son just screamed, but that was definitely an I'm having fun scream. Hmm. Let's do a little highlight on that purple. Let's get more into it out here. We got what, three minutes? All right, let's do some pink. Everything okay, dear? Yes. Okay. I think the kids are just going to scream. We probably don't need to go check on them every time. I think they're just having fun playing hide and go seek and being goofy. Okay, let's hit this with a little orange. Normally, if I'm painting something, I go out and I try and go to the location, take reference shots so that I can really get a feel for the place and at the same time just kind of have my own pictures to pull from. I like to know, I just, I like to know. I like to know what it feels like to be there. I like to know what it looks like. I like, I like to experience the places that I'm painting. So all of my paintings are from my own reference shots, my own reference pictures, my own experiences that I just want to be able to share, you know? And that's just, I guess that's just kind of who I am when it comes to me expressing my art. Plus I like, I like the hike. I like the adventure of it all, you know? So we're just kind of tapping in some flowers. Yeah, I kind of like that color combo. Whether I have enough time to do what I think I would want to do with it is different. You got a minute and a half. I can, I know. Thank you, though. Thank you, dear. Let's just add a little green. So it's obviously not perfect, right? I mean, but the idea is there. So we're just going to keep bringing it down. Now a little more green. All right. I know, there's not.
not a lot of green in the desert, so that looks a little crazy. Let's pop it with some orange, a little red. I would try and do an actual flower and some more cactus, but I am definitely, definitely, definitely running out of time. So. All right, let's try and at least make this feel like a cohesive painting. So a little orange, a little red. There we go. A little as we get down into here. Oh, not the right color. There we go. And okay, twenty minutes or less. Here we go. Do you mean to take it down, or can you zoom in on it for a second? Okay, so this is my desert with desert flowers, and there were going to be multiple, ooh, excuse me, multiple cacti, but instead we have one, one cactus. What do you think, Kyle? Looks good. Thanks, dear. All right, I'm going to sign it. All righty, here we go, here we go. Where's the pointy brush? There we go. All righty. J M R S twenty minutes or less. All right, woo! Another one done. Making my way down the list. Bye. Hope you have a wonderful day.